Now turning to our forecast, meteorologist TJ Del Santo here, and luckily for us, it's been quiet. None of those issues like we just talked about. It's been gorgeous. Yeah, beautiful weather today, and that's going to continue for a couple more days before we see our next chance for some rain, maybe a thunderstorm. Let's take a look at what's happening now, though. Live pictures from Newport Harbor, blue skies, just some thin cirrus clouds there. Pretty picture there, live radar, not tracking anything in our neck of the woods. But as we kind of broaden out a little bit, that system that moved through Indiana now working its way on well off to our south, across parts of uh, uh, Virginia, West Virginia, with some thunderstorms there. Our threat tracker for today, low chance of anything overly impactful, just really nice weather. Same for tomorrow, looks nice. Thursday looks to be generally pretty quiet as well. Our next chance for showers, thunder, comes on Friday, and we'll go over that in a second. Here's New Bedford, some of those high clouds here as well, and in Providence, still lots of sunshine, beautiful afternoon so far. Temperature standing at 77, wind from the north at 8. Notice the dew point at 52, very comfortable air in place. It starts to get to 60, that's when it gets a little bit more sticky, but don't see that happening today or tomorrow. Temperatures are in the 70s across all of Rhode Island. We're at 73 out on Block Island. Westerly 75, Smithfield 74, Taunton, New Bedford, Fall River, mid to upper 70s. We had some clouds around this morning. They're working their way away from us. Weather system currently working through the mid Atlantic states with those showers and thunderstorms working away from us. We're just looking at lots of sunshine for the rest of the afternoon. Let's see how it all plays out. Hour by hour forecast. Going to take you right into the evening. A few clouds around. That's about it. We're staying dry. We're dry overnight into your Wednesday morning. But notice these little arrows here. More of a northeasterly wind expected tomorrow. I think the end result will be some slightly cooler temperatures, but still a very, very nice day. So forecast for this afternoon. Temperatures getting into the low to mid 80s. Even at the coastline, it'll be uh, approaching 80 degrees with a, more of a land breeze, northwesterly winds, about five miles an hour for tonight. We're looking at dry skies, overnight lows about 60, low humidity, so a good night for sleeping. Don't necessarily need the air conditioning. Here's the seven day forecast, and we're going to go over this here day by day. On a Wednesday, lots of sunshine with temperatures climbing into the mid to upper 70s, so a little cooler tomorrow, and the rain chances through the day pretty much nil. Looks to be pretty quiet. On Thursday, it starts to get a little breezy, and I am expecting a dry day. Clouds perhaps arriving later in the day. And it's possible Thursday night and into Friday morning, we could have some showers and thunderstorms around. Here's the map cold front. This is for 8 o'clock on uh, Friday morning. Showers, thunderstorms will be in the area. And then I think we'll get some clearing, but we might actually catch a couple more isolated showers, perhaps a thunderstorm Friday evening. It's all out of here for Saturday. Saturday looking nice, pleasant, dry. Mid 70s, Father's Day, 74 degrees. Looks dry right now. Monday, pleasant with a blend of clouds and sunshine. Get your weather anytime at WPRI.com or by downloading our Pinpoint Weather 12 app. So just beautiful weather, at least for the next few days. Sounds good. All right. Thanks so much, TJ. Well, looking at some of the stories coming up all new tonight on 12 News. First at 4, Attorney General Peter Narona joins us for his monthly interview. Then at 5, a young man murdered on his family's porch 13 years ago. We'll hear from his sister as the search continues for his killer. And coming up at 6, we expect to learn more on the Tidewater Landing Project as the Commerce Board discusses that plan today. It's three full hours of 12 News, all starting first and live at 4.